Betafish need filters. Today, I'll be debunking three myths when it comes to Betafish filtration, starting right now. Get the gloves. Hello everyone and welcome back to Scooping Poop with Vivian. This is a channel where I help educate you on exotic animals and help you make the best decisions for your pets. So if you like what my channel is about, then be sure to click subscribe and turn on the notification bell. In the wondrous world of fish keeping, there is a staple fish that has always been there and that people always love. And that is the betta fish. I mean, what's not to love about them? They're super colorful, they have bright, bold personalities, and they can live in a bowl without a filter, right? No! No! In today's video, I will specifically be focusing on the fact that betta fish do need filters and why all fish need filtration in order to live a long, happy life. Now, just as a quick disclaimer, I'm not a fish keeping channel and I don't exactly plan to be a full-time fish keeping channel. I mean, I keep fish personally, I just don't talk about it a lot because it terrifies me. Fish keeping is how I got started in the animal hobby in general, but I sometimes am scared to make videos around fish because we thought the reptile community was controversial. Just wait until you get into fish keeping. But having different opinions and different methods of keeping animals is completely okay, but right now I am addressing the beginner basics when it comes to filtration. And yes, there are certain methods such as the wall stack method that allows you to keep fish without filtration. However, this video isn't talking about that. My point is that filtration is very important when it comes to the majority of setups. However, there are always exceptions because within fish keeping, there's so many different methods and approaches that you can take when it comes to taking care of your fish. And this isn't to hate on any of those methods. But right now, I'm not really addressing those advanced techniques. So with Without further fucking ado, let's get into it. So first of all, this video is focusing on filtration. So I'm not going to get into heating or tank size. However, the first thing I have to get out of the way is the fact that no, they cannot live in a bowl. I don't think I can count three living organisms that can live a happy life in the bowl. Marmo balls, air plants, and a very confused hermit crab. So the absolute minimum size is a 2.5 gallon tank. However, the bigger the better, obviously. There are so much advice and myths surrounding the fact that betta fish don't need a filter. I'm going to debunk the top three myths I hear all the time. Myth number one, you can just keep the water clean by changing it frequently. Yes, water changes are a very important part when it comes to fish keeping. However, water changes alone do not keep the water clean. And in order to explain this, we have to understand the nitrogen cycle. I'm going to do a separate video talking about the nitrogen cycle because I love it and I want to go into more detail. But essentially, in the water, your fish will produce ammonia. Ammonia is produced, obviously, when your fish use the bathroom and also when water passes through their gills. So pretty much at every waking moment, your fish is producing some small amount of ammonia. And in your filter, there's something called biological bacteria. And what this bacteria does is that it takes the ammonia and it converts it to nitrite. Nitrites and ammonia are both deadly to your fish. They're very toxic and even in tiny, tiny amounts can cause severe damage, including gill damage, suppressing their immune system, and a bunch of nasty things. But then the biological bacteria will convert nitrites into nitrate. Nitrates in small amounts is not deadly to your fish. So as long as it's kept below blank parts per million, depending on the species, then it won't harm your fish. Nitrates is the thing that's removed during water changes. So you're thinking, so during the water change, doesn't that also take out ammonia and nitrites? And the answer is yes. However, again, like I said, even the tiniest amount of ammonia or nitrites can be harmful. And due to the fact that your fish is constantly producing ammonia, Unless you're doing water changes like every 30 minutes, <laughs> there will always be detectable amounts of ammonia in the water. I'll link a video down below that explains the nitrogen cycle a lot better than I just did, but let me give you a metaphor that just makes sense. A filter is a toilet. Assuming you live in a first world country, when you use the bathroom, you flush the toilet and all your waste goes away. <laughs> now imagine if you can only flush the toilet once a day or every three days or every week 
or every two weeks. Your living environments will literally be filled with tons and tons of waste and that's not healthy. Now just imagine that for your fish. If you're doing water changes once a week, like you're supposed to, that's all good. But when you don't have a filter and you're only relying on water changes, nobody's flushing the fucking toilet. And that's disgusting. Why does somebody not know how to flush a toilet after they've had a shit? Disgusting! So the second myth is that betta fish can't have filters because the flow is too strong. Betta splendids, which basically are the betta fish that we find in pet stores, have very, very long fins. They have been bred to be beautiful looking. However, those fins aren't necessarily the best, best thing for swimming. So if you have a really strong flow, then your betta might struggle in the water. And this usually happens with strong hang on back filters. But that isn't good enough of a reason just to get rid of a filter. I remember when I first started getting into betta fish, I shot for a filter at like Peco or something and dead ass the manager and I fought over the fact that yes, betta fish need filters. So in order to solve this problem, there are a couple of solutions. The easiest solution is to just get a filter filter with low flow. Now some of the higher quality hang on back filters such as an aqua clear, you can adjust the flow to just the lowest setting and your betta fish really shouldn't have a problem. Or you can choose a filter that doesn't produce tons of surface agitation. Sponge filters are great for betta fish because it doesn't stir things around too much. So yes, strong flow could be an issue for your betta when it comes to their swimming. However, just finding a low flow filter can really solve that situation immediately. Now the third myth that I hear is that betta fish are so hardy that they don't need a filter. Betta fish are fucking survivors, y'all. And yes, it's completely true. Betta fish along with goldfish and a couple others are very hardy animals, meaning that they're tough, they're resilient. They're not like puffer fish or other fucking chameleons. However, there's a major difference between surviving and thriving. A dog can live in a closet. They wouldn't be happy, but they wouldn't die in a closet if you just gave them food and water. I mean, a dog in a closet could probably live like two months. But obviously if you did that, CPS would be called. No way, CPS is for humans. <laughs> Um, animal protection services would be called because that's not right. But when you do the same thing for betta fish, nobody blinks an eye. Yes, betta fish can survive in dirty ass tiny bowls, but that does not mean they're living their life to their full potential. In most pet stores, betta fish are sold in those tiny sad ass looking cups, which gives the people the implication that you know, if they can survive in a tiny cup like that, then giving them a bowl is like giving them a mansion. If you're going to get a betta fish, why not just put in the efforts to ensure that they can live their full life and be happy and healthy. And you know, I bet there's going to be a lot of comments saying, well, I kept my betta fish in a bowl and they lived three years. I've never used a filter and my fish is fine. Again, dog in a closet. Ignorance can only get you so far. This video isn't meant to attack anyone, but when people are genuinely trying to give you advice as to how to make your pet's life better, when you're obviously doing something wrong, if you're going to call me a bitch for that, then guess what? Fuck off! <laughs> so I'm going to be honest, this video was very surface level. I didn't get too deep into science and also the more specific details. However, this is definitely more of a PSA that just let people know that betta fish need filtration. So I'm sorry if this video is a little bit different from what you expected, but if you want me to do more videos on fish and especially getting into actual details and like, you know, more exciting things, then let me know and I definitely will do that. Anyways, thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, then click the like button. If you like me, <laughs> click the subscribe button. And comment down below if you have a betta fish or if you have fish or fish, yeah! Anyways, thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one I make. Bye! I currently don't have a betta fish, but I should get one. <laughs> I have a tank set up, it's cycled and stuff, so I should, I mean, I should really get one.